Uh, thank you very much. Any comment from the panelists? Yes, please. Okay. Um, thank you again for your question. Um, I think one of the points that many of us are trying to address from very different perspectives is that when we take a look at the population of the Earth today, over 6 billion, we have seen such an exponential rise in the number of human beings on the planet that something like one out of every 10 humans who have ever lived are on the Earth right now. Now, this is something unprecedented. Based on my understanding, as of right now, we still have enough water, enough food, enough air for everyone. What we do not have is the increasing global capitalistic consumerist culture where a very small percentage of the Earth planet are consuming such a disproportionate amount of the planet's water, planet's food, planet's steel, and all of the other natural resources. And ironically, it's that same consumerist culture, which happens to be the place that I call home, which today is almost a missionary culture. There are pockets of this consumerist culture showing up in all around the planet. That is what is not sustainable. It will simply not work for such a small percentage of people in America, in Europe, in Japan, and a few other societies to be consuming so much. So when we speak of this ethic of hospitality, this ethic of humility, this ethic of sharing, make no mistake about it, it is not a matter of niceness. It is not just a matter of edab. It is a matter of our shared survival. Okay, thank you. Any other comment? Yes, please. Uh, first, uh, the lady, and then uh, the uh, friend. Ah, yeah, okay. Yes, please. Uh, my name is Maya Lanes, and I'm a journalist from Brazil. I just recently was working in the Amazon, and it was a special work I was uh, doing regarding the preservation of the ecosystems of the Brazilian Amazon Basin. And my task was to interview different communities and to get their uh, vision of what should be done to preserve those ecosystems. And I interviewed riverbank communities, different tribal peoples, and uh, it's very important what you are here um, talking about because no matter what the differences in their recommendations, there was a common ground. It was uh, the spiritual value of the river, of the water sources. And I think that uh, maybe if, if you could reduce two major differences from the people uh, that are involved uh, with cattle raising, with mining or logging activities, which are very predatory in the Amazon rainforest and also for the Amazon River, has to do with the vision that the natural resources have a utilitarian value, as opposed to the indigenous people and the traditional communities who view uh, all the natural resources they have a utilitarian value, but as well as, as a spiritual dimension. And uh, another difference has uh, something to do with what uh, the gentleman has just spoke about, has to do with the ethics of sharing. And it seems that the older communities, the outside communities, there is uh, much greed imbued in their vision of these natural resources. And uh, whereas there is I would say a need for sharing, for survival, because of the very difficulties in, in living in such uh, an environment. I think there is also those people, they derive a sense of contentment. And somehow, um, maybe I don't like to say in the Western world, because I think it's part of nature, of the industrialized uh, way of viewing life, but it's like we define what is to be a successful person in terms of some standards and somehow the sense of contentment has been extracted from human life. So thank you very much for bringing the spiritual dimension to these thoughts.
Uh, thank you very much. And uh, yeah, there was one comment here. Thank you. 